today I'm starting off down on the uh, seafront, it's low tide at the moment and uh, down here low tide again, it's a real nice rock clearing so I'm going to try and get a few shots of them this morning I'm going to have a little wander along uh, the rain keeps coming and going but uh, hopefully it'll hold off a little bit, it won't get too heavy but uh, I've got my 0.45 with me again, a load of foam and pound film so um, yeah, we'll see what we get this morning knock back the exposure time a little bit for what it would be if it was on the uh, wide angle but I should hopefully smooth out all the water and um, with all the um, contrast with the uh, dark seaweed down here yeah, it's worth a shot Exposure set up. I've got a uh, 47 ex second exposure here. Uh, I've got the camera tripod flat onto the ground. Uh, the problem with shooting on the sand, especially when the water's lapping around the tripod, is it will start to sink. So I, I just lay the legs completely flat. That should help stabilise it and reduce it sinking a little bit. But um, I don't think we're going to have much luck with this one. But give it a try. It's on its uh, on the turn a little bit now, so I'm gonna have to move off the rocks. Uh, the problem with being on the rocks, I get a bit carried away setting up shots and stuff, and um, the tide comes in along these channels along the back here. And 
before you know it, you get cut off. So uh, we start heading back across this way a little bit and uh, see what else we can find this morning. Set up. I've got the. I've switched back down to the super wide, the 25 mil. Uh, I've got this um, big rock straight in the centre here, which uh, should work with the super wide because uh, you often find you get quite a heavy vignetta around the super wide images, and by having something dark in the centre will help balance things out a little bit, especially if you expose for the um, for the shadows in the rock there. Uh, I've got the camera mounted just above the water, so you should get a bit of something in the rock pool. And, uh, yeah. See how it goes. Keep the dark sides dry. Um, this is why I'm wrapping them up in this marker fibre at the moment, so keep the moisture out of the film. one twice so I'm going to do one in the uh, 25 mil super wide I've got a 30 second exposure of that but with that I'd hope to get quite a lot of the sea down here splashing around you should see most of that um, the sky is very white and overcast today so it might it might be after we regain a little bit of detail in that still I've top kind of exposed for a bit of a mid-tone on this but that will probably give some quite heavy vignette and around the edges of the bottom but um, I'll shoot one in this and the next one in 50 mil. We'll see what they both look like together. focal length on this you've got to change the you don't have to but it's best to change the uh, pinhole size as well so for this you end up with a aperture of 176 normally round up to 180 uh, whereas before it's uh, 130 so that will obviously make the exposure times a bit longer I add the uh, second layer onto it So 
the uh, metered reading has gone from a five second exposure to a 10 second exposure. With uh, film you've got added responsivity failure, which means the longer the exposure is, you've got to add more time. Different films, it varies. Foam and pan is, is really quite bad. So for the five second, I've got a um, 30 second exposure for the 50 mil, I've got the 10 second, and that's resulted in a 1 minute 20 second exposure. So uh, we'll take it, we'll see how they come out. I'm recording this just in case that last shot didn't come out because I've just noticed the problem. When I put the uh, second back onto the camera, I didn't move out the um, elastic that I use. And it is uh, sitting between the frames, so it may have a massive light leak. So I'll, um, I'll sort that out for the next shot now. So last shot before I head off, we've got a uh, thought 40 second exposure, again with the 50 mil, looking up at the uh, big wheel. Hoping to get a bit of movement with the uh, bushes and stuff around here, but yeah, look forward to getting out of here now. That's it, that is me all done. I'm absolutely soaked all the way through. I'm gonna go home, wash all the salt water and the sand off my tripod and my camera. Hopefully get the film developed later on and hopefully, considering the weather, hopefully some of them come out okay. But um, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe, like, and uh, any questions, put them in the comments. And um, I'll also um, put a link down below as usual as well. And that head over to my blog so you can see all the photos in full a bit more information and stuff on them and uh, I'll see you in the next one thanks again for watching